Hey guys, it's Steven. I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Aeon MQ7 skin. Now this skin has a lot of customization, but the one thing that's missing for me is to customize your widgets from your add-ons. So um, let me show you real quick. So I have my movie library. Of course, you can set the widgets for that. I have it set right here, as you can see, on random. Once you click on that, you could change it to different categories. You can change it to studio, year, so on and so forth. All right, TV shows. Now, once you hit up, and then you hit down, the TV show random. Now, I don't like to put it on recently added, as you can see. It'll give me a whole bunch of these. Now, I don't like the look for this, the look on this. I usually put it on, um, when I usually put the widget, I go to title in you know the library then go to title and it'll give me from you know all my shows not episodes so i leave it on random the only reason why this one's showing up is because i haven't watched this episode yet which is season one episode 13. all right Now, for the Zen, I usually have my my widget from this add-on, but like I said, you can't put it as a widget. So what I could do is, is I go up, I have a favorite folder. So I click on favorite, back out of there, and I have these. So I have trending movies, I can go in there. And it'll take me straight to the Zen Trend and Movies category. Let's back out of there. So I have Trend and Movies, Popular Movies, New Movies, Popular TV Shows, New TV Shows, Returning TV Shows. So how I did that was, I went to Zen. Let's say... Let's go to movies, and we'll go to top rated movies. You highlight it, go to context menu, and add to favorites. As you can see, it's right here on favorites. Now if you want to add a picture, like how I did here, you would go into your favorites folder. As you can see, I had the picture from right here. Let's say trending. Let's, let me see. Let's say popular TV shows. The context menu. And you choose your thumbnail. And then you just navigate to wherever your picture is located at. And make sure it's in a. It make sure it's not like in a landscape type picture. Let me show you. I browse. External storage. Wherever your, your pictures are saved at, you just navigate to it. Let's say this, um, this picture format, right? So it will come out to like this. It's tiny. As you see, it's tiny. Or you could keep it the way this is. It's not a problem. Now, in order for you to do that, let's say, let me show you, for example, I go to music, I go up, and I just hit the favorite folder button. 
and it'll show up. If you want to get rid of it, you hit down one time and scroll to favorites. All the way to the left where it says none clear, you clear it out and that's it. So basically the way you change the widgets on these is all you press up and then you choose your widgets. You could also since it's pulling from the the movie database, let's say TV show top rated movie database, I click on that. And I get this. But it's not pulling from the Bob add-on. It's just pulling from the movie database. So let's say you go in the let's say we go in any one of them. It'll take you to extended info. Back out of there. Basically, it just gives you information about the TV shows, movies, and whatnot. Okay? Now, for instance, you can add anything in your favorite folders. So I go to Specto. Go to TV shows. Let's say, Harry, mm, say, people watching the context menu and I add it to favorites now since the Zen is um pulling from the favorites folder you'll have it here all right now you could also rename it Cause you just if you just have it people watching you don't know if it's a, you know TVs or movies, so you hit the context menu and you could rename it. All right. Now let's go into settings. Skin settings. And customize home menu. Let's start from the top. So for each category, I have to go all the way to the bottom, change backdrop, and you just navigate to wherever your 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 fan art, your pictures are located at, and then hit OK. And you have to do that with each one. Now to hide, I hit the um, live TV for because I don't use it. The game, I changed it. Let's say you want to change extras. Go to the side and go all the way to the top. Replace this item, this menu with. You can put an add-on there, an audio add-on, program add-on. We'll change it to a video add-on. You can change it to any one of these. I'll just choose this for now. It already name it. If it didn't. If you want to change the name, you can rename it right here. And scroll down and change the backdrop. You have multi images or one image. I'm going to choose one image. And I'll just put this one in. Alright, so that's how you add your widgets. I mean, excuse me, your add ons and um, your artwork to the main menu.
You can have it in vertical mode if you wish. The font selector, I put mine on seven. The widgets, I always have it always available and the number of widgets to 12. You change the color bar, the color menu bar. I have it on red. Show cast in poster mode. You have list name mode. I just kept it on poster mode. The show weather turned on, but I haven't set the weather up yet. Show date, show library status. You can animate the fan art if you want to. I keep this turned off just to reduce the lag if there's any. And the transition time for the multiple image to to rotate put that on five seconds show trailer in full screen mode show smart sub menu those are ticked on now media cases you could change you could have it on red put the DVD logo My view type. So you have your widgets on the bottom, and you would probably have, you know, when you go into one of the movies or TV shows, it will give you all the information on the top. That's the grid layout one, grid layout two, grid layout three. You could put a line in there to separate it. But um, I don't have that. The style for the stars. You have 3D. You have the bar, flat, or italic. I left mine on italic. Now the colors. You can change the um the panel color. I have it on black. Let me show you a different color. I leave it on red just to show you. The title color, I have that on red. Let me show you a different color. You have it on white. Okay. Change the color of the media flags. The, the media flag bar, excuse me. I have it on black. You can change the color if you want to. Alright. Change the color of the media flags. That's on the bottom, as you see, it can't see it. So I left it on white. If the if the bottom, if the um the media flag bar was black, then I'll probably change the color of the media flag to red. So I'm gonna leave it on white. Change the watch flag color. I change it to a color where I can see, so I put it on red. That's this, as you can see, it changed. It changed to white. You go all the way to the top. You can also change it to, you know, different different color palettes. Flag style. I chose this one. You have that. This one's kind of hard to see. Okay. I left the themes alone. I left this alone. The disc. Once you hit to the right, and then you hit down, you can choose your disc color. Hit to the right, go up, and hit to the right again. 
choose your disk color. Once you click on it, it automatically changes. Hit down. Well, on my device at least. <clears throat> to get out of there. So general settings. Show audio and video vis um, visualization as background. Global. Click on. The zoom effect to open and close windows is on. Not much going on in there. Options menu. Original size is ticked on. Original size and sub menu is ticked on. That's I ticked it on because it's too big. Let me show you. I'll take it off. Alright, let me show you. Let me back up out of here. As you can see it I don't like it that way. I just like it to stay small. Let's go back into settings. Take that on. Let me show you how it look. As you can see, it's not scrolling. I gotta wait for it to scroll to see what it actually says. Okay. So back into settings. Original size and video information. That's on. Original size and music information is on. Search info bar is on. I put mine's time in hours and minutes. That's for when you're playing a video. I want it in hours and minutes, not just in total minutes. Pause, um, pause label is ticked on. Show audio, original font and views. Put progress information in view, media info in OSD menu, those are ticked on. And man fee lyrics is ticked on. Now I wish in the custom main menu, I wish they have a option to, you know, for, for the add-ons and you want to put the widgets for your add-on. Usually it be in, in here. As you can see, it's not in here. So the only way you would get to put a widget on there is, you know, just hitting up and choose one from here. Now, if you want to change it and you don't like it, let me show you. So for example, Specto. I have that on my main menu bar. And you hit up, and you hit down. As you can see, I can scroll right here all the way to the right. You click on that, and you can change it again. If you want to take it off, you can take it off. Or if you want to change it, you can change it. So there you have it, guys. A little quick setup on the Anox MQ, the Aeon, the Aeon, excuse me, the Aeon MQ7 skin. Thank you for watching, and if you like the video, hit a thumbs up and subscribe.